Our senior parliamentary reporter Patrick Amimo is in Wasin Geshe, specifically Eldoret, and joins us live with the expectations of both senators and members of the public. Patrick. Thank you, Rogers. At Wasnigishu, the headquarters of the county in Eloret, where the 67 senators have convived a first in Kenya's history and in compliance with Article 126 of our constitution, which allows any house to sit outside Nairobi. And the Senate, given its size, because we have 67 in number, then uh, I think it, they found it opportune to come to Eldoret, and they'll be holding the sessions here for one week. And some of the issues they'll be looking into will be to do with the Big Four agenda, because uh, looking at how the Northern North Free uh, uh, counties can uh, help uh, 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 can help bring on board the Big Four agenda. They'll be looking into matters of the maize crisis. Remember, this was Nigishu and neighboring Tanzoya. This is uh, referred to as the as the basket, the grain basket of Kenya. And we have uh, right now farmers have been complaining they've not been paid for their produce delivered to the national NCPB last year. And some uh, to, uh, on Wednesday they'll have an opportunity uh, uh, to listen to uh, the grievances to the committee uh, responsible in charge of uh, uh, agriculture and that uh, that is investigating the May scandal. They'll also have an opportunity to go to the Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital to look at uh, the hospital situation there at the facility and how the Senate can, uh, uh, maybe they, uh, they can come up with policies to look into, into that matter. But as it were, the Senate it's be, it will be sitting officially for this week here and as, as, as it is, its uh, afternoon sessions will be uh, so that's when the Senate sits officially, and the, uh, that session, the sessions will be relayed live from uh, from Eldoret. And now joining me is the leader of majority in Wasnigishu County Assembly, uh, Joseph Luwoi. Just uh, the, the, these are the Senate sitting in Wasnigishu. They're first. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, as Wasnigishu County Assembly, we are really delighted. We are really happy that uh, we were chosen to be the first county. And in that case, the county assembly to host the Senate within the country, according to the law. And we are very happy because they are coming and bringing in a lot of experience, a lot of expectation. We are now mingling and talking with them and telling them our problem here at home. We don't have to spend and go to Nairobi to go and benchmark with them. But here, I think we'll learn more than we usually go and learn uh, elsewhere. Secondly, as you said, we have more issues here. Uh, particularly farmers, issues health, we will deal with them here at home. And we are really pleased, we are really happy that uh, we can go by the Swahili saying, Mgeni Aje, Mwenyeji Apone. I think we will be that Mwenyeji Mwenyeji Yes, looking at it, maybe just matters legislation, because most of the county assemblies maybe have been told, uh, have been uh, accused of maybe coming up with a, a poor legislation uh, do you maybe this visit will you also try to uh, try to uh, maybe polish up or the, the legislative uh, making process of the county assemblies thank you very much uh, first i want to say that the county assembly of Wasangishu has always been ranked the best in issues legislation and all the others yes yeah, sometimes maybe we can have issues of capacity on our staff and maybe sometimes on members but uh, over the years uh, members have been trained have been capacity build and members now are ready to take their task. I think the only thing that we can learn from them is maybe on the procedures and uh, how they handle their committees, how they uh, make sure that uh, they keep time to handle the other issues. I think a few of uh, just furnishing is what we need and uh, then we are uh, good to go because I uh, presume that we are the best as of now. We just need some small furnishing then we go. There have been cases where governors have been called to Nairobi where, and to, to, to answer to some of those audit queries and uh, seen also maybe there's been a, a pull and push between uh, the MCAs who say that maybe that particular role would, would, would be done at the counties before it, it, goes, it, 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 gets, it gets to the Senate. I don't know whether you've uh, conversed this issue with the Senate, with the, with the Senate as it sees in Wasigishu. Thank you very much. That is the first thing that we need to dispense. Because um, the county assembly has been conferred the powers to do oversight by the constitution. The same with the Senate, they have also the powers to do oversight. But the only thing that we need to discuss today with the Senate is agree from where do we stop, then where do they pick. We don't want to use the same public funds duplicating the same things. Sometimes Senate pick issues that we have already discussed them and dispensed at the county assembly and maybe they are before the, the control of budget or the other uh, oversight bodies. But uh, from today we need to discuss with them. We need them to tell us how comfortable the where will they take. Maybe we start from the county assembly, we raise the issues because their oversight is on paper. Our oversight is real. Today if I say there is a kettle dip that is not finished 
and I do oversight here because it is my word. It is real. But for them, they just rely on paper. Now we need to agree with them from which point are they going to pick the oversight, the, 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 uh, uh, the oversight issues so that we know where do we stop. Then which issues are we going to do oversight in the counties? I think the best thing is Senate, after receiving the reports from the Auditor General, they should actually study it and confess with the County Assembly's Committee on Pick and Pack and see which one has been dispensed by the county assembly. The ones which have not been dispensed by the county assembly, now they can pick that and run with it and, and maybe call the governors for explanation. But mostly, we need them to strengthen the county assembly, public and accounts committee, so that we can summon our own CECs here, we can summon the governor here, we can really walk, just walking a distance to the projects and make sure that we see them uh, physically. And now uh, the oversight will really be felt. Instead of just carrying the paper, somebody can bring you all the papers you need and you will qualify that that project is done but uh, actual appearance the project has not even kick started there's another issue of public participation and as senators converge here in was issue they'll be expecting members of the public to come in and also get uh, share their views on various legislative legis various laws that are, are being uh, are being proposed and also a certain policies i don't know how has was issue been when it comes to matters of mobilizing members of the public to be enjoined in this process of legislation and also policy making. Thank you very much. Uh, as for Sangisho County, we've tried. Yes, we started very low. We are not yet there. We have a law of public participation, but we are still pushing through. We want to make sure that the public understand their role in uh, budget making process, in finance bill, in any other law that we are making. Because through public participation, really we can collect those views that uh, are felt by the. Because we usually say that uh, the shoe era knows where it pinches. Now the real shoe era is Monanchi. And if we really participate and uh, engage them in everything that we do. We will not have a lot of quarrels. They will understand that uh, what we are doing is good. As was an issue, we've been trying. We're not yet there. I cannot say that we are there, but we are trying. As uh, with the Senate, we are now trying on how to make sure that this law is enhanced. They should make a, a universal law that is applied in West Pokot, applied in Kilifi, applied in Wasengishu, so that we have a public participation law that is uniform. A law that allows the members of the public to have documents 21 days, 28 days, 14 days earlier before we go to the ground. But as of now, it's just but a matter of compliance to the law. Somebody comes there with a 300-page document. They want to participate today and finish today and go back. In the next two hours, we need this document to be done, and we call it a public participation. Secondly, we also need to know what is public participation. What is the quorum? Because if I go and get five people and I call it public participation, does it qualify? That is what we need Senate to do. Do a law that is that cuts across all the counties so that Wasingishu, we don't have a different law from Elia Marakwet or Nandi. We need to have a universal law that will help us really do issues public participation equally and uh, across the country. And, 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 and maybe just last, my last question on, on the cut of the, the, the supplementary budget to, to count is by 9.5 billion shillings, your take. I think it's so unfortunate for the national government to reduce the uh, money, the 9 billion shillings uh, from our budget. That means that uh, we are going to lose a lot of projects. You know, uh, once somebody says that we are cutting money, they never cut money for recurrent expenditure. They always go straight uh, to, to, uh, to development budget. And this means that every county will at least have a reduction of not less than 200 million. And that is so much. That is for health, that is for roads, that's for water. That is maybe our budget full of development in other counties like El Marakwet and Kilivi where they are getting only uh, three, three billion shillings uh, a yearly. So uh, I think they should consider that. Cut the money all the other ministries, but for counties kindly, I'm just asking them politely to leave it the way it is so that we can serve these people. Thank you so much. That's been Majority Leader Josephette Lowoy from Wasnigishu County sharing with us uh, uh, with some of the, 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 the views and concerns with regard to legislation, uh, public participation, and also ensuring that uh, maybe the Wasnigishu County, the public comes out and uh, enjoys this particular presence of the Senate, one week presence uh, in Wasnigishu County. Uh, from Wasnigishu County, I'm Patrick Amimo. Back to the studio. Yes, well, thank you, Patrick. Um, Mimo, definitely following up on the first sitting away from the Nairobi Senate chambers. The senator, or the Senate rather, is actually in Wasingeshu County, specifically Eldoret, to actually evaluate the successes and failures of devolution. This is the first sitting away from the Nairobi Senate chambers. Well, thank you.